Hey agents, in this video I'm going to go over the easiest PvE DPS build for a new player to farm. It may not be the meta, but it's honestly not far behind and it doesn't require any named items or exotics, making it perfect for new players looking for a go-to PvE build. I tried to put this into a 1 minute video, but I didn't feel that I could fully explain the build in 60 seconds. We'll make it quick anyways. So here's the build. All you need is 3 Providence, 1 Fenris, 1 Grupo, and 1 Seska. It doesn't matter which brand set is on which piece of gear, all that matters is you have the appropriate brand set somewhere on your build. For attributes, you want crit damage rolled onto every piece, and crit chance at 60%. Remember, there is a hard cap of 60% on crit chance. You cannot in any way get more than 60% crit chance, aside from certain talents that give you a guaranteed crit on your next bullet. So, if you have any extra attributes, you can roll them to headshot damage or weapon handling. And don't worry about having max out attributes. As long as you have the right talents, brand sets, and attributes, you'll be able to fly through heroic content without a problem. As for talents, we're running Unbreakable on the chest, because for new players, this talent is great. If you make a mistake, no problem, you get an extra life every 60 seconds. And if you mess up again before it comes off cooldown, we've got a Reviver Hive to pick you right back up. Your other skill can be whatever you want, I personally prefer the Decoy or Riot Foam, or Jammer Pulse for when I'm against Black Tusk. On the backpack, Vigilance is a great choice. 25% amplified damage is really nice, and since you'll need to rely on cover with this build, not taking damage for 4 seconds to get Vigilance back is a piece of cake. And yes, cover is your best friend since you're all reds. And if you want to reposition during a fight, make sure to use cover to cover as NPCs change from being aimbots to stormtroopers when you're performing a cover to cover move. For your weapon, any assault rifle will do as long as it has a long barrel. We need to put that tactician laser to pulse enemies and take advantage of flatline. This gives us another 15% damage to pulse enemies. And all enemies will be pulsed as long as you aim down sights at them. In order to run the tactician laser, you'll need the tactician specialization. Your secondary weapon can be anything, go nuts. So how do we farm this build? Right now the best place to farm loot is Countdown. You get tons of loot and you can choose your target loot. Also you've got 7 other teammates who can carry you if your build is doo-doo. To change your target loot, just go into the menu in Countdown and on Xbox, push down in the D-pad and select whatever you want. Getting the holster, gloves, knee pads and mask are easy because you just need the right brand set with either crit chance or crit damage, then head over to the recalibration station and re-roll the other attribute. The chest and backpack are a little more difficult because you now need the talent as well. So for those two pieces, if one of your attributes are not crit, don't worry too much about it. As long as you've got the talent on the right brand set, you're good to go. Eventually, as you play the game, you'll find better pieces and upgrade your build organically. So there you have it, a powerful PvE build that can slap heroic level content. It is really easy to farm. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, leave a message in the comment section below. Until next time, happy farming agents.